All right, let's look at verses 18 through 22, and then we'll wrap it up here tonight. So it says, As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, preparing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Now, my Bible has a heading. It says, Jesus calls his first disciples. The word disciple is nowhere found in these verses, but what is a disciple? In in simplest terms, a disciple is a born-again follower of Jesus. And when a person comes to Christ, they are transitioned into being a disciple. The problem is that a lot of people don't know what that commitment means of being a disciple. Every true Christian is a disciple. The question is whether or not they are living as a disciple. So what are some pieces or parts or components of discipleship that you see in these verses, verses 18 through 22? Well, here's some some pieces and parts of discipleship in these verses. First of all, there is a command to follow Jesus. And when Jesus says to Peter and Andrew, come follow me, that is not a, um, I'm trying to think how I want to phrase this. It is a command. It's not a request, it is a command. Do this, do this. So it's an authoritative call. It's an authoritative call. Uh, What is meant by following Jesus? Jesus says this to them. What is meant by that? To, To follow Jesus means to walk behind him, because he's the authority, he is Lord, but to, to walk in lockstep with him. It means to mimic him. To actually live as Jesus lived. Lives. Um, It means, part of discipleship means that there has to be a break from the past. Like Pam said, they immediately left their boats. Now, it's not that these men didn't continue their fishing businesses, because they did. Okay? But now, fishing wasn't their first passion or priority. And then third, Jesus says what? Follow me and I will do what? I'll make you fishers of men. That's right. You can't really say you are following Jesus if you aren't actively fishing for people. Because Jesus sends his disciples out for that very purpose. We just read earlier that from that time on, Jesus began to preach, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come. He is, and that that word preach, that word preach doesn't mean to stand behind a pulpit. It means to declare. It means to proclaim, to share. Okay, All of us are supposed to be doing that. And so he's calling people to come to Christ, to make a commitment. And then he gets down here and he says to these disciples, I'll make you a fisher of men. You're going to go out and do the same thing I'm doing if you're following me. So you can't really consider yourself a true disciple of Christ if you're not working to bring people to Christ. Christ. 